Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to update the firmware on a D-Link router. This model happens to be the DSL2750 router. This is what it looks like. All right, so the procedure is as follows. Just go to D-Link's website. Now, they have a variety of websites for different countries. So I've just done a search for D-Link. This happens to be the local website for D-Link in my country. And then you'll just search for the device. I'm going to go to for home and then I'm going to choose routers or routers. And then I'm going to find the router, the 2750. There it is, as you can see. Click on that. And here are the resources. On the left hand side, you'll see firmware. And here is the link. Now you'll see a few folders with the firmware, keeping in mind that different countries might have different firmware. For example, if you're in India, you'll find a different list. And if you're in, uh, in my country, in South Africa, you'll see that it's got a slightly different list. That is why I said, please go to your specific country. Some of the settings in terms of the firmware are country specific. In this case, they're giving you a warning. I'll read that shortly, but I just would like to get the firmware itself. So I'm going to go here and say retail version. And now it's asking you for the hardware version T or C. What that requires is that you look on the router itself and you will see a version T or C. There you can see on the top right, it says H forward slash W hardware colon T1. Now my one happens to be version T, so I'm going to click this folder, and then it's asking you is it T1 or T3. Now you saw in the photo, mine was T1, so I'm just going to click there, and this is the firmware list for that particular router. So I'm going to get the latest version, and download it over here. Right, so that's going to download now, and that is now finished. Uh, for those local viewers, if your unit has a Telcom branding, you can see there it's got Telcom stickers on. Please, uh, you can see D-Link said, please get in touch with Telcom. But if you've got a unit like uh, I have, it's retail, there's no additional branding on it. Well, then you follow the procedure that I'm showing you. Okay, so the next step requires you to log into your router. Now, here I've already got the IP address of my router. It's 10.0.0.89 because you need to log into your router in order to do this firmware update. If you are unsure of your router's IP address, just go to your uh, particular Ethernet link, or if it happens to be wireless, go to your wireless link, and then just click Properties, and double-click TCIP4, and you should see your router's IP address. There you can see the gateway is 89, and that is why I am using 89 in the web browser address bar. For example, if I click 89, you can see it brings me to the login page of the DSL2750 router. If that didn't work, please type ipconfig forward slash all and you should get a list of all the interfaces on your computer and here you can see there it says default gateway 10.0.0.89 that would be the address which you use to log into your router right there you can see i put in the gateway address which happens to be the router's ip address make sure you know the username and password for this particular router it is admin admin uh, unless it was changed Then you go to the maintenance tab. Uh, just have a look at the top right hand side and you can see the current firmware says AF underscore 1.72. While the new firmware, as you can see, it says there 1.76. The reason why I'm showing you this is if your router already has the latest firmware, there's no point in doing the firmware upgrade. Now you can do this one of two ways. Either you can just upload the firmware but keeping in mind it will write over all your current configurations on your router so what i recommend you do at this point is you back up your system right so i'm going to back up the system you see i press the backup button and then it's going to save the current configuration of this router if I do the firmware upgrade and it wipes out all the settings, it's not a problem because I can restore it with the file that I've just backed up now. Right, now I'm going to do the firmware upgrade. There you can see this is the current version and I'm just going to browse for the version that I'm looking for. There it is. 
and now you do the update. Make sure that while you're doing the update that you have a stable power system. Your power, your electricity will not dip or should not dip at this point. Do not unplug or disturb the router during the firmware upgrade procedures. Right, the router is updated and uh, it still allows me to log in with the same IP address. There you can see the firmware version 1.76 underscore R01. If you do want to restore your settings, you can come to maintenance and you go and browse for the file which you saved before you did your firmware update. All right, so that brings me to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.